Well, what's up, everyone? We're here camped in Ure, Colorado, the Switzerland of America, drinking a LaCroix with my good buddy, Patrick. How you guys doing? So yeah, Elevated Overland. We've been following on Instagram for a few years now. Yeah, we're going back and forth pretty much since you started your YouTube. Yeah, and we got linked up um, because I started building the Sun Raider and you have done like so many of these conversions, Chinooks, and dude, so much cool stuff. Exactly, I've done a Chinook on a Tacoma, I've done a Sun Raider on a Tundra, I've done a Sun Raider on a Cummins. I've kind of done it all, so. Yeah. A little too comfortable with the vintage Toyota motorhomes there. <laughs> I, such pain I, he knows firsthand how much of a pain they are they can be but they're they're super special and you've the nostalgia in them is just yeah. there well, it's been really cool following so you guys got to check out elevated overland is yeah. elevated overland garage on youtube so yeah so check that out it's been really cool to follow and like everything everything you've done is definitely inspired i think a lot of people to build their own rigs whether you know it or not i've had prob yeah. I've probably helped 20 people build custom toyota sun raiders or uh, Chinooks or stuff like that. Yeah, that that some are living full time out of now. Yep, like uh, Brian Burge, he has a Tacoma Chinook. There's a, there's a few people on Instagram and YouTube who have like contacted me, like, how did you do this? How did you do that? You know, and like at first I was like a little hesitant to share everything, but like in the end, like no one's gonna take this and go renovating these forty year old campers for you know a giant profit. So I've learned. That well, and that's why I think it's it's like you said, it's been tough for you to make a good amount of money for the work that you put in because. They're older campers, you know, they still almost have this price point cap, this limit almost. Exactly. But in reality, you're really just using these shells. Everything. You're, you're reinforcing all the five got you. I mean, you're re It's almost a whole, whole brand years. new. It, it really is. I mean, there's the only thing that's original is the shape of the camper. Yeah. And other than that, everything else, yeah. the subfloor, the fiberglass resin, the windows even are yeah. all updated. And, yeah, so. so he's super good at building custom rigs. Do you want to, us to tell them you could do that? I, I definitely can do that. I, I still, I'm, I'm still taking orders. I do a lot of four-wheel drive swaps on like the older Sun Raiders. And yeah. I do still do shell transfers on the new trucks. Um, I don't do a lot of the rigs I've done in the past. Like I won't do another Tacoma Chinook just because. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do chassis work and I'm not trying to extend wheelbases and stuff like that on such a heavy, really important rig. You know what I mean? Someone's yeah. living out of this full time. Like on a rock crawler, hell yeah. Like if you want to stretch 10 inches, like yeah, I'll stretch your wheelbase 10 inches. But like yeah. something that you're living out of and taking across the country, I don't really want to put that kind of liability on doing framework. Yeah. Like that, so, but if you bring me a full size truck, I'll put a sun reader on it and it'll be sweet. Full pass through whole nine yeah definitely contact him if you're looking for something and i think i still think that you're the best person to be building these for i mean i don't know there's just a not there's not anyone i've seen out there that puts as much into these conversions well, thanks so well, i do. appreciate that i mean it's definitely yeah. been blood sweat and tears my wife has uh yeah. been through all of it with <laughs> i'm very grateful for her because there's been many a nights that i'm out at the shop till 11 8, 11 p.m and yeah up at the shop at 7 a.m and yeah you know what I mean? making not much and, yeah but it's cool i mean it's been a labor of love and i've learned so much that when if i ever go on the road full-time like you like which was the initial plan my initial mm -hmm. plan was to build the tacoma chinook for myself and go traveling it full-time yeah but then i got an offer to buy it and then i got another offer to build another truck and then i got another truck and here i am with a three thousand square foot shop and like 25 vehicles <laughs> <laughs> happens quick yeah for sure well and it's when you're working hard things things happen quick exactly so yeah it's been it's been a blessing though. yeah i'm very appreciative for everything that's happened and the way it's happened so. yeah what advice would you have for someone like trying to build their dream rig I think everyone like I got so caught up on that personally and I got too caught up where I didn't really know what my dream rig was. Yeah. And you I need to go and dirt bag it in your Toyota Tacoma yes. with a camper shell yes. for a month and just go. Just do it. And you're gonna bring all this stuff. Like when we went on our first road trip, it was a month in the back of a Toyota Tacoma. And we ended up going to Goodwill and donating half the stuff we brought on the road. And yeah. went to Goodwill and bought more stuff that we never even thought we would need on the road. And just the necessities com are completely different once you're actually out there. You think you need all this stuff. And then you get out there and you're just like, why do I have all this stuff? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm definitely figuring out what you need as a person. Everyone's going to be different, but... We just, just learned so much in that first month that I'm so proud of you for saying that. <laughs> you, you gotta get out there and do it. There's no other way to know what you need in a rig other than doing 100%. it. You can think about it for months and years, and until you're actually out there, you never yeah. gonna know. No, exactly. So. 
That's the best advice I ever. And it's, yeah, that shows me that you've really actually done it a lot. <laughs> because, and you, gosh, you're such a minimal pack for four dogs and two people. It's been impressive. I have stuff with me right now that I haven't used in a week. And so I'm still perfecting. It's probably as full as our back of our truck. Yeah. I mean, I don't have much stuff with me. Don't get me wrong. But um, I was lucky to get the Dodge Mahal. And that was like actually kind of turned into now what this truck's going to be. I had a good base to start, but I, I wanted to get the turnkey rig and just go. And I'm really glad I did. Because um, now like my dream build in the Gladiator, is I feel like I know Dodge. exactly what I want. And I hope that when it's all done, it will check all the boxes. I think it will. I think you made all the boxes, so. I made them. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, we made them, and then we'll check them. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, thank you so much, man, Absolutely for showing cool. me around the most beautiful parts of Colorado I've ever seen. It's been a blast. I mean, it's honestly, been really cool. it's been really fun to meet you. And, like, unlike some people, like, you might meet who, like, you're like, oh, wow, they are nothing like their other channel. Channel, he's even funnier. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's been Thanks, cracking dude. us up all week. <laughs> Thank you, though, dude. That's a big compliment. And uh, that's why it makes it just so fun to meet up with people on the road. So the only question is, are you down to mob? <laughs>